Queens College is hosting an IDF soldier. If you want to protest, come protest at uh, uh, Campbell Persia Hall. I'll see you there. If you know what's right, if you know that genocide isn't okay, then you'll come and you'll speak up. Thank you. All right, guys, we start chanting. Gaza, Gaza, don't you come? Gaza, don't you cry? Gaza, don't you cry? about who you're hosting. The IDF is responsible for killing 93 journalists in three months. During the Vietnam War, 63 journalists were killed. During World War II, 69 journalists were killed. In the span of three months, we have killed 93 journalists. This is a direct violation of the Geneva Convention. We have bombed schools, hospitals. We have killed children. We have deformed babies. We have ended lives. Every day. Shame on you. Shame on you. of this genocide, of this apartheid, to come and speak on our school. Hey. 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 We, have, we have pictures of the IDF soldiers celebrating their fucking birthday over dead bodies, you piece of shit. <laughs> hey. 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 Guys, I like, if you really want to see, you guys say what about the victims? It was fake. I've heard people say it's actors. These are fake videos. You can look at the victims right here. Actually, you've probably seen one so far on social media. His name, let me tell you his name right now. You've seen the boy starring on your Instagram feeds everywhere. And I'm very sad to report that he has died today. I am, of course, I am appalled that this isn't just, a, this isn't just guns and bombs. This is starving children. You are starving children. The flower stampede. The, the stampede. There are gunshots, recorded gunshots. How many people must be shot while they get full? Guys, this is a humanitarian issue. This is simply black and white, right and wrong. Kids who are hungry, starving, every day, trying to get their food, being met with gunshots and bombs. When the United States air dropped food into the sea, there's video evidence of the IDF shooting at people getting food from the sea. There's video evidence of children being bombed, of ambulances being targeted. This is as simple as right and wrong. Truthfully, you are on the wrong side of history. In 10 years, when the world knows what Israel has done, you will look back shamefully at what you stand for. The children you killed, the families you've ended. You said you laughed. It's pathetic. You have no understanding of right and wrong. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if this was happening in any other country in the world, everybody would have changed their usernames. Everyone would have changed their football pictures. Everyone take out your Instagram and follow Wissam Gaza. W-I-S-S-A-M-G-A-Z-A. -S -S -A -A. If you want to see what's happening, follow him. Follow you. A-L-E-H-Y-O-U on Instagram. You will see exact. Take your photos. Take your selfies. You will know what happens. What's happening in Gaza. You see it every day. It's reported. But that doesn't matter. Because truthfully, morally speaking here, you guys know you're in the wrong. You guys know you shouldn't be hosting a genocidal terrorist on our campus. That's okay, we're gonna come inside. Honestly. Now. I can't wait until he gets to meet him. 
Israel bombs U.S. space. How many kids can you kill today? Israel bombs U.S. space. How many kids can you kill today? Israel bombs U.S. space. How many kids can you kill today? Gaza, Gaza, don't you cry. Palestine will never die. Gaza, Gaza, don't you cry. They're lining up to meet their hero IDF soldiers who have to kill multiple children. The IDF, which has bombed multiple hospitals, multiple schools, which has added in the blood. Are you ready? 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 Yeah. I'll still use my megaphone here, and I'll still tell you what's going on. Nice. Over 93 journalists have been killed in three months. The good thing you didn't ask, because that shows where you stand. You don't care, right or wrong. You don't want to know what's happening. You live in ignorant bliss. You live on apartheid land, taken from dead children, women, and families. You've erased family names. Okay, listen, we're going to wait in line, and we're going to go inside. I'm really excited for you guys to meet your hero today. Single file line. Single file. Follow their rules. Single file line. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Just make sure so that people get. We can separate. Yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure. I'm gonna go. 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 that shot at their own civilians on October 7th. You guys don't want to talk about that. And the IDF soldiers that you guys are interviewing, they don't give a flying fuck about the hostages. Because if they did, they yes. would negotiate. Yes. Just yes. straight facts. Garbage, straight you're facts. You're Israel got 130 hostages when they negotiated with Hamas and Al Qassam. When they did not negotiate and they decided to kill 30,000 innocent civilians and counting. What do they have to show for it? Three hostages and they killed five of them. You guys don't give a shit about the hostages. Yeah. 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 We know what's been going on. Retire the Remember when you had the choice to think about right and wrong? 
when you can think about the children you've killed, the school year you've ended, you have ended the school year in Gaza. 15,000 children at least. At least 15,000. You know the injury. Do these children not matter? Does not every children matter? How can you laugh at their death? Do they matter when they're in their hands? Uh, do you guys realize that when they say injured, injured people in Gaza, they mean limbless, lost their arms, lost their legs, an entire generation of children born who have lost their limbs, who now have to fight and live a life without their appendages because they were bombed by Israeli bombardment, funded by the U.S., funded by Starbucks, funded by McDonald's, funded by Coke, funded by Target, funded by Walmart. Shame! 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 children are starving every day, that parents are sacrificing their food as you would, as a parent as you would, are sacrificing their food for their kids while they die, while families are wiped out, while children lose their lives yeah, every yeah. single day. And we're bringing a piece of shit IDF soldier to the school. And, and we're bringing a representative for them to speak for us. Just a word, of, a word of history for every single Zionist, supposedly Jewish student on campus that claims that Daniel Hajek II, who showed up last week, is anti-Semitic. Daniel Hajek too, the same Muslim that preaches the Quran, that preaches the Hadith, talks about the, the Khalifa, Umar ibn al-Khattab, when he came and he liberated Jerusalem, he didn't do it for just the Muslims. He didn't do it for just the Christians. He also did it for the Jews. And one of the first things that he asked was, when the Byzantines came, the Christian extremists, and they killed all 20,000 Jews near the Second Temple, he asked, where are the Jews? Jerusalem is not complete without the Jews. And when Palestinians say that Palestine will be free, they're not just talking about Muslims. They're not just talking about Christians. They're also talking about Jews. What we're against is the Jewish supremacist, the Jewish priority state of Israel, which, and it's not our fault that when they drop the bombs on Gazan children, that they have the Star of David in Hebrew written on it. It's not our fault that the people that are killing us are vehemently and proudly saying, we are Jewish, we represent the Jewish faith. That's your problem. And when you invite an IDF soldier, a representative of the Jewish supremacist ideology that has been going on, that is a young devil that only existed since the 1800s, that is not as old as the Jewish faith. When you invite someone on this campus, and I will debate any rabbi, I will debate any Jewish provocateur, they do not know their own history. Zionists are Jewish supremacists, and that is what Palestinians are against. 
because only a, a society that is supremacist in nature will be okay with killing 30,000 people. Not the Jews that when they left the Holocaust said never again. They weren't just talking about Jews. They were also talking about the Uyghur Muslims. They were talking about every single group of people that was marginalized since the Holocaust. Know your own history. is the same institution that canceled Israelism being premiered at Hunter College, which was a film that was created by Jews that are against Zionism. So don't sit here and tell me that we're allowed to have free speech on campus. That free speech is selective. That free speech is selective. You guys, Zionists, APAC, you guys are all allowed to shut down any pro-Palestine event on the pretense of terrorism, but you're allowed to have convicted terrorists inside of your own campus and have events with them. Name, name, name. Name one Hamas soldier that had a college CUNY event. Name one Hamas soldier that came on any CUNY and said, guys, we're going to have an event talking about Palestine. No, but there's IDF soldiers coming in droves, in droves, in droves. Show me, show me the SS, show me the Nazis that were coming on CUNY campuses talking about Nazism in the 40s and the 50s. Guess what? They weren't allowed on college campuses. They weren't allowed. So why are we going to allow Zionists that are killing children that are going to convince these American citizens, these patriots, to go and fight for another country that's committing a genocide against children simply because of their faith or because of the color of their skin. My, grand, my great great grandparents before me were Christian, and my great great grandparents before that were Jewish. So I'm more Jewish than half the Ashkenazis that go and fight for Jews. No more hiding, no more fear, genocide is crystal clear. No more hiding, no more fear, genocide is crystal clear. President Wu, shame on you. Where are you on your campus? Why are you emailing out saying you don't support the IDF on our campus? Why are you not emailing us, pursuing us? Why? Where is President Wu in this time where his campus is clearly divided? He's a coward. President Wu, shame on you. The kids that you've killed, that you've supported, the hunger you've supported, the starvation you've supported, the genocide you've supported, the families you've ended, the mothers you've killed, the fathers you've killed. You guys do know that the IDF has confirmed to kill pregnant women, to shoot the stomach and kill the, the unborn child. Yeah, they said they killed two. This is confirmed. How about the Telegram page that's run by the IDF posting dead Gazans? There's, they have Telegram pages posting war and smut, killing people and posting it. Every day this is seen. 
Every day you can go online and you can find new images, new videos of the genocide. The revolution will not be televised, but the genocide will be streamed. Every day we see what's going on. Remember, the revolution will not be televised, but the genocide will be streamed. We see it every day. Every single day we see a new dead child, a new dead family. Every single day. And this doesn't affect you guys. It's sad, it's really sad, it's honestly upsetting that you as a person can't see that a dead child is a bad thing. You can't see that 10,000 kids killed in three months is an issue. You can't see that hospitals being destroyed is an issue. You can't see that schools being bombed is an issue. This is a matter of right and wrong. This isn't religion, this isn't politics, this is right and wrong. You are killing children, you are bombing schools, you are bombing hospitals, you are bombing food supplies, you are killing hungry people begging for food, who have been starving for days, weeks, months. Just think. It's honestly so sad. I genuinely feel so bad for you guys that you can't see the issue of what's going on. Yalla, yalla, Palestine. Yalla, yalla, Palestine. We know that you're not a dream. We know that you're not a dream. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. We don't get it. Shut it down. Shut it down. If we don't get it. Shut it down. If we don't get it. Shut it down. 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 This is something that you guys need to understand. Everybody is here thinking that they're fighting for Jewish rights. Everybody is here thinking that Israel is the last enclave for the Jews. Why is it that we have? Hundreds of Jewish people showing up to Grand Central shutting it down. Why is it that we have people like Norman Filkelstein, whose parents are Holocaust survivors, coming out and saying that the state of Israel is, dis is destroying and a rejection totally of what the Jewish faith is? Why is it? Why is it that when the Jews came on their second Aliyah, they said that this is a land, a land for a people, for a people without a land, but there was people already living on that land. Why is it that when you speak to any Israeli historian in the University of Tel Aviv, they tell you that Palestinians did exist, they tell you that the Muslims that live in Palestine were Christians, that were also Jews, that were there at the time of the Canaanites, which is older than the Kingdom of Israel, which you guys claim to be from. Which you guys don't know. You guys don't know your own history. You guys don't know your own history. Palestinians are not ashamed of their history. They know that the intersectionality between Muslims, Christians, and Jews run deep and that we are interconnected. That's why Palestinians believe that Israel shouldn't exist because there shouldn't be a, a Jewish supremacist state. There should be a state for Muslims, Christians, and Jews that lived in harmony. And guess what? That existed before 48 and it's called Palestine. Oh, yeah, but they say, but they say in their circles, but get rid of Hamas, get rid of Hamas, Hamas is in Gaza, look at Gaza, oh my God, if there was only an example of, if there was only an example of a government that existed that had no Hamas in it, and it was in the state of, it was in the so-called settler colony of Israel, oh, but it doesn't exist, wait, wait, it does, it's called the West Bank, how is it going for them? How is it going for my family in the West Bank? Our family in the West Bank that bended the knee during the Oslo Accords and said, you know what? You know what? We will have peace with the Israelis. You know what? We will have peace with the Israelis. What happened? You guys came and said, oh, we need Judea and Sumeria, and you took it over. You kicked my family off of their land, and they had to become refugees and flee to Venezuela, and flee to Chile, and flee to Puerto Rico. You guys don't, you wouldn't dare speak to a real Palestinian who has actually suffered, whose family suffered, not because of Hamas, but because of the settler colony state of Israel and because of the Israeli offense force, the Israeli diaper force, who they can't even invade a, a, a nation of 2.2 million people. They have to bomb the shit out of it before they walk inside. And that is why we literally have Jewish professors all across the CUNY system that when they try to organize teachings that from upper brass it comes down, from Mateos Rodriguez it comes down, shut it down. We can't have a talk about this. We can't have a talk about this. It is a shame. It is a shame to CUNY that they don't even have the decency to sit Palestinians down with so-called Israeli settler colonialists and say, this is the history. 
How come they can't do that? Our education system has failed us. It has failed you if you're gonna go into a room with a fucking genocider, with a genocider, with a killer, and they won't be able to sit with a Palestinian historian or even a Jewish historian that actually knows the history and say, look, you guys did X, Y, and Z. And then they can say their arguments and we can say ours and we get to the truth. But you guys don't want the truth. You want the propaganda. You live for it. You die for it because guess what? Once the myth of Israel is broken, you will realize that your whole identity is a scam. Yeah. 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 Netanyahu, where is he from? Poland! Frederick, from Poland. Poland, hung Hungary, Iraq, Mizrahi, Ashkenazi, it doesn't matter. Like I said, and I will say this till the day I die, I have nothing against Jewish people, I don't even have anything against Israeli people. What I have, what I am against is, I am against the Jewish supremacist state. Palestinians are against the Jewish supremacist state. Palestinians are against having their homes taken in 1948. Palestinians are against, are against the idea that Jews have a right to return to their homeland simply because of their religion. But wait, it's also an ethno-religion, so if that's the case, then I'm also a Jew. But you guys aren't willing to admit that, right? Being a Palestinian means that you believe in the intersectionality of Jews, Muslims, and Christians. Being a Palestinian means that you believe at the time of the, of the Sahaba Umar ibn al-Khattab that when he, liberated, when he liberated Jerusalem from the Byzantines, he said that I will make sure till my dying breath that this will be a place for Jews to live, for Muslims to live, and for Christians to live. But then, but then, but they will hear, oh, but under the Muslims, we had the Dimi tax. We were Dimmies. We were third class citizens. The Dimi tax was, was half of what the zakat was for the, that the Muslims had to pay. So does that mean that Muslims were abused in their own lands? You guys don't even know your own history. You guys don't even know your own history. And that is the biggest shame of Israel today. And I feel so sorry for you guys. The same way that the Germans that were, that were worshiping Hitler, that were saying, please, 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 get, off, get us out of this economic reckoning. And because of that, they were willing to kill every single Jew in occupied France, every single Jew in Ukraine, every single Jew in occupied Russia when Germany occupied it. Is that the society you guys want to have? Is this the society that we are going to have? That is the paradox of being a Zionist, is you believe never again, and you use the Holocaust to justify a state that kills the people that are indigenous to their own land. Don't you dare say, don't you dare say that Zionism and Judaism are the same thing. You guys want a dialogue? They just offered us to go inside. If you want to do a dialogue, come out here and talk to us like a man. All right? Don't don't tell us to come in. Don't tell two people to come in and come and do a talk. Come outside and do a talk real quick. All right? Yeah, I need I need this path clear. Okay, you that, but, my if you were at that big yourself, you were at that big yourself. He said, if someone says that 5 million, 999,999 died in the Holocaust, that person is a Holocaust denier. He acknowledges that 6 million Jews died in the Holocaust. So he is not a Holocaust denier. That's something that you guys may know. Go ask him yourself. Go check his Twitter. He says he's not a Holocaust denier. He acknowledges 6 million Jews died, but you don't. You don't. You try to make lies and victimize yourself. All right. Come on. 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 I have the right to confront him. What, what's wrong, officer? What? Oh, it's about the person. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. What? 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 You say this, they're scared. Me go. You say this, they're scared. Ben Zion, Shai Mufan. You have the balls to show up on my campus. I'm here to confront Ben Zion, this pig. I'm here to confront him. I challenge him to a boxing match. I'll fuck him and his mom. It's easy for them to kill kids. It's easy for them to kill kids. But you know what you guys do? They're getting their asses beat. They're getting their asses beat by the resistance. The IDF is protected. They need a safe space. 
from their genocide, but I have news for the idea. If you come to New York, we're gonna confront you! And impossible! Impossible! If you dare, I challenge them to a boxing match where I'll fuck them up and their mom. but not at Queens College specifically, but from what all the students are telling me is that it's not at capacity. And all I said was, if they want to have a dialogue, they can let one or two of us in that are actually from Palestine and aren't social justice warriors coming from all over the city and are supposedly Antifa, because I know that's what you Zionists like to say on Twitter. Or Instagram or whatever. But I am inviting any one of you right now to go to whoever's organizing that event. And we have a bunch of native Palestinians here right now that are willing to go speak truth to power. And if you guys, and if you honestly, if you honestly believe in Zionist dogma and Zionist what we call propaganda, what you call the truth, then you guys would obviously have no problem with that. Because then we'll be educated, right? Because Arabs need to be educated. Arabs only know how to live in open sewage, like your god Ben Shapiro says, who apparently knows everything about the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. So right now, I am giving the chance to any I am giving I am giving the chance to anybody that is a Zionist and is on Queens College faculty to go in there and ask whoever organized that event to let one or two of us in so we can have a dialogue. We'll see what you guys do with that information. Let them in! 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 She can handle it, she needs her safe space. God gave me the right to invade that safe space. <laughs> Book of Amos, first one. If I want to go into personal, personal space, God told me. Just like Israel has the right, according to them, Theodore Herzl, an atheist, who, was, who hit his head on the floor, said, oh, I don't believe in God, but he promised me Palestine. That's, wait, wait, hold on. That's like me saying, I don't have a dad, but he promised me child support. He promised me child support. He promised me child support, but I don't got a dad. I have news for you. It's changing. The Palestinian army, the Lebanese army, Syria, Iran, they will fuck you up. Fuck you up. They know he's shitting himself because Hamas is kicking your ass. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Because right? you guys have nothing else to say. The only thing you guys are good at is getting your ass fucked and beat. And you will leave Gaza. Gaza is the first step. Give me the microphone for a second. <laughs> Gaza is the first step! After Gaza, we will liberate Haifa and Yaffa and that kind of goods. I will clean Palestine from the Zionist garbage. Send you back to where you came from. Send you back to Hussein. Send you back. Free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. Free, free Gaza.
Listen, your armies full of pussies. They've got it from the air. I want, I want to fight your soldier right now. Exactly. Shut the fuck up, Ben Zohar. Now, Sean Mufar. Bro, I'm Isaiah in your ass, bitch. My face is saying. Sean Mufar. Bitch, it's Sean Mufar. Hey, you guys know what happened in Toronto? In Toronto, a Zionist attacked a Palestinian protest. This was two days ago. You don't hear about it, do you? For information, for context, in World War II, one of the deadliest wars in history, 69 journalists were killed. In, in the Vietnam War, 63 journalists were killed. In three months, in three months, Israel has killed 93 journalists, over 30,000 civilians. It has killed 30,000 civilians. Where is Hamas and those civilians? Where is Hamas and those 30,000? Where is Hamas when they are injured over 1,000 people who were starved? Where was Hamas? Where are the information? I want facts that they killed Hamas. I want to know why they're targeting school. We have Israeli soldiers playing with Palestinian kids' toys, looking at Israel, Palestinian women's lingerie, look going through their clothes, robbing their homes, stealing from their from dead family, taking from their home what they please. They go in, they take their shackles, they take their money, they take their food, they take their home. We already have settlers who want to go into Gaza and start their settlement. We already have settlers at the border trying to go in and build their home. Guys, this is long before October 7th. This is years before October 7th. Do not forget the apartheid. Do not forget the, whole, do not forget the fact that Israel has killed thousands of Palestinians. They've gone into homes, they've taken their homes, they've killed their women, children and men, and they made their home their own. Why is it a birthright? Why is it their right to go and take someone else's home? Why is it their right to go and kill Palestinians? Why is this not fundamentally challenged? This is a basic black and white issue. You kill innocent children. But it's okay, that's the cost of war. War does that. You kill your own hostages. Guys, uh, a little bit of information so you can know. One day, Israeli hostages in Gaza had a white flag waving around. They were trying to get the attention of Israeli soldiers to save them. Instead, they were shot and killed. Israeli hostages, who they say they care about, were shot, killed, bombed by the IDF, who you have in there right now. His organization has bombed 30,000 people, civilians, children. His organization has starved people. They've ended family lifelines. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I, 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 I don't want to bring you guys out because I don't want to. This is the exit. No, no, no. The only thing Tim Rosen and Iowa have in common is going for babies. Awesome. Over 400 of the prisoners of Israel were held without court and are children. This is a fact. I will show you information. Israel has been kidnapping children from Palestine long before October 7th. Long before this has ever happened. This has been a genocide since 1947. An ongoing genocide, and the world just sleeps. Their favorite things to talk about is October 7th, but what about before that? There are over 10,000 civilians who are, who are in prison for no reason. Children! And when they come out, they were in the worst shape. The worst shape that you could possibly be in. They are starved, beaten, come out with broken bones. Did you see your hostages being released? Shitty white fellas! Where is your Where is your line? Where is your line? Where is your line? Keep on hiding your hands on me. Don't fucking touch me. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm talking about lie. What fucking lie? What 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 lie?
party. I'm putting a block up. He's going to put his hands on the floor. me to go behind the line? Listen. It's not full capacity if I just want to I've had five. Okay, if I go to the house, you're right there. Thank you. Don't say that. I'm going to the house. 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 I'm going to this is why we cover our faces, because we get docked, because we get put on websites, because we lose a chance of getting jobs, our scholarships are revoked, we are kicked out of school for protesting against genocide. Look it up. Canary, do not forget Canary. It's used by Zionists so they can put down whoever they want, so they can blacklist who they want, so they can be prevent people from protesting. Why are our voices silenced? Why are we blacklisted? We're speaking against genocide. Just think, take one second and think about what's going on. 30,000 people dead in three months. 93 journalists dead in three months. Uh, it's been six months, actually. Six months. This has been going on. And they always want to talk about October 7th. Before October 7th, 500, actually. 483 Palestinians were killed across the West Bank, across the West Bank and Gaza. And 75% of those, 75% of the 483 people that were killed were minors. Now you're going to say, oh, I wouldn't categorize a 16 year old with an AK 47 or a stone as a minor. I mean, listen. That's your opinion, but those people were not even charged by the Israeli military. They were simply detained. And if they couldn't charge them, why couldn't you charge them? It's because they, they, the Israel, the IDF sees themselves as judge, jury, and executioner in places like the West Bank and Gaza. You guys aren't the harbingers of justice. You do not give Palestinians their equal rights. So why should Palestinians accept the Jewish state? Oh, but there's 20% Arabs in the in the state of Israel. They had to give their they had to give their houses away. They had to give their rights away. And in the Constitution of Israel, it says that it is a Jewish democracy. Is the United States of America a Caucasian democracy? Is the United States of America or any democratic country a Christian democracy? No, it's not. So when we tell you it is a Jewish supremacist state, I am not saying it as hyperbole. I am not saying it because I am getting inspiration from SS officers or Nazis like, like Israeli provocateurs like to say on Instagram and forums like Reddit where you guys get all your information. This is a matter of fact. This is what people like historians, like normal think Norman Finkelstein, like other Holocaust survivors, like people that even identify themselves as Israelis and go to Tel Aviv University, which is on stolen land, what they admit to. When you watch documentaries like Tantura, which was created by an Israeli historian admitting to the killings of the Nakba, then you guys have a problem. You have a problem if your own citizens can attest to the atrocities that the state that they live in has committed. And it's not like it's something that went on Three, four hundred years ago. This is not ancient history. This is happening right now in front of our own very eyes. Almost two hours in, or one hour in, and they have still failed to let anybody that is actually from the Holy Land walk in and say to their face what they're saying is bullshit. What they're saying is bullshit. So don't try to come here as an educator, as an educator in CUNY. As educators for CUNY, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. And you shouldn't be ashamed of yourself because you're Jewish. You shouldn't be ashamed of yourself because you're quote unquote Israeli. You should be ashamed of yourself because you have failed as educators to fairly educate the students of this campus and at least have a fair conversation with people that feel marginalized. When the so-called Holocaust denier came
came on campus last week, it was an open invitation for anybody to walk in. And if anybody that is a so-called Zionist walked into that event, they would see that he did not in fact deny the Holocaust. That according to multiple Queens College students on this campus, that he said that if five, if someone says that 5,999,999 Jews I mean, uh, uh, died in the Holocaust, that I condemn and he is a Holocaust denier. When people that are that are on the Palestinian side and Muslim side are censored and you don't actually let them say their piece, you are doing a disservice to students that identify as Israeli because you are not letting them actually see the truth. You are not letting them actually see what the real history is. You are cultivating a culture of killers, a culture of supremacism, the same culture that their grandparents ran from in the 40s and the 30s in Nazi Germany, in occupied France. And so to Zionists, I will ask you, since you claim to uphold Jewish values, what is so Jewish about the settler colony state of Israel? It is not our fault as Palestinians when the people that kill us, when the people that bomb us, when the people that barge into our homes have plastered so proudly on their, on, their, on their left side arm or their right side arm, the Star of David. It is not our fault that the bombs that fall from the sky are in the ancient language of Hebrew, which is in the, which is in the Torah. It is not our fault that every time a Palestinian kid walks into Jerusalem, even if they're an American citizen, that they have to be glared at and they have to be talked to in Hebrew. The language of their occupiers, the language of their killers, the language of the people the culture of the people that are killing them, they are claiming to be Jewish. That is not the fault of Palestinians. It is not the fault of Palestinians that the people that are accused, that are proven to be their killers, proudly wear yarmulkes on their head and show up to Shabbat every single, uh, every single time that they have Shabbat. It is not our fault that our occupiers are, are desecrating Jewish values, are desecrating it. When you have the Star of David on your flag, and you do these actions, don't be surprised when people conflate Zionism with Judaism. And that is literally one of the most disgusting things that Zionists have done to their own supposed faith, because any real Palestinian knows that Zionism has nothing to do with Judaism. Jewish supremacist ideology. The IDF are killers. They desecrate the Jewish faith. Do not say for a second that this propaganda dome that you guys just came out of, you wouldn't dare let that IDF soldier actually speak to the face of the people that he's killing. You wouldn't dare let an IDF soldier come and say to my face that yes, I justify the killing of 30,000 kids. Be proud of your Zionism. Why can no Zionist walk up to us and actually defend their disgusting ass ideology? Why can no Zionist come up to us and tell us that their history is right? Your history is manufactured. History is manufactured. Shame, 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 Halal, it's halal. Just remember, commit this to your memory.
through in 10 years when the world knows that Israel has committed genocide, you will look back shamefully. You will look back disgusted at what you stood for. You will see, you will look back disgusted at inviting IDF soldiers and our very campus. Share, 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 Uh, Zionism is a Jewish supremacist ideology. Zionism is a simple idea. Okay. Brother, can I get your card? Zionism is a Jewish debate. I don't have a card. I don't have a card, card, but I can give you my Instagram. I can give you my. Zionism. A how come is it that whenever we have a, a, a Palestinian protest, we are met with Zionists who come up and debate us, they yell at us, they argue with us, they deny a genocide? Why is it our fault? Why is it our res responsibility to condemn Hamas? Why are they not condemning the IDF who bomb and kill? By the way, they've shut down Gazan schools. The school year in Palestine is over. Please remember this. We claim to love education. We claim to want to educate our children. But when an entire country. They don't have school. Their hospitals are being bombed. Their children are starved. The mothers, the fathers are starved. By the way, you know what they eat? They get animal food. They mix it with dirt and water and they make patties because they don't have rice. They don't have dough. They don't have meat. Why is the aid being blocked by Israel? Why you celebrate? Why celebrate? Why celebrate? This is your patriotism. This is your patriotism. David, it's not the time. Please, at the time. No, I'm exposing these hypocrites about that. I understand that, but I'm not. Oh, I know it's different. Sure, yes, it's different. Isn't it disingenuous? Isn't it disingenuous? You fucking monster. Isn't it disingenuous? This is why you're enabling. This is why you're enabling. You're okay with this? How about 90 You can't You can't even lie! You can't even lie! You can't even You can't even lie! Why? How about this? Why you Inexcusable! It's unjustifiable! This is what you're It's not to criminalize! This is what you're doing! It's not Judaism! Killing children! Then why are you killing Jews? You're celebrating IDF for killing children! And raping women! No, it's not. You disgust me! So you disgust me! Nation, so IDF can, right? Saudi Arabia. Fucking Nothing can justify okay, it. Where were you? Where were you? No, where were you? 90,000 children in I'll be back. I'll be back. 
Why are you only talking about gay rights when uh, let's talk about employees? Let's talk about employees. Daniel, what's the name? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, talk, I'm, I'm sticking with gay. Black white supremacy. Black white supremacy. I don't want that shit on my campus. I'm sick of these Zionist motherfuckers on my campus. You guys should start running for student government, for the student association, and occupying those seats. And making sure that your student activity fees aren't going to this shit. Make sure that this shit never happens again. When Martin Luther King, you need, you need to find that out. When Martin Luther King was on this campus, speaking civil rights and equality, he would be fucking rolling in his grave knowing that students haven't done more tonight. And you guys have done a lot. For being here today, you are outnumbered. There is a large Jewish community here. But know that there's Jewish allies, brothers and sisters, and we stand with you. And we stand with you until Palestine will be free. And so what I'm telling you is to please don't just stop here. Run for student government. Take over these seats. You don't have a chance to go. I want to make it very clear. I want to make it very clear. America and Israel. 
Israel have killed millions of fucking kids. Iraq, Afghanistan. Over 30,000 kids have been bombed by Israel in the past six months. In one day, over 1,000 were injured and 100 killed. By the way, in that day, they were all getting food because they were starving. This was two days ago. In Toronto, a Zionist attacked Palestinian protesters with a nail gun. He has yet to be arrested. Think about it. Hospitals, schools have been bombed, shut down. The school year is over and Gaza and Palestine. When COVID happened, Japan shut down school. The world went insane. But when Israel bombed schools to death, preventing kids from getting education, from getting an education, we sit down silently and give them more money. And we host them at our school. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Hello, we're at Queen's College today. I'm an anonymous student. I go here and today the Queen's College president invited an IDF soldier to come speak for us. Not speak for us, but to speak in the school. And actually, a week ago we had a speaker come, Daniel Hakikat, and he sent an email saying, we as a school do not endorse his message and that we are actually against him coming in. But for an IDF soldier, a perpetrator of genocide, allowing him into our campus, giving extra police security, <laughs> giving an ex a police export instead of canceling the event, despite how many emails and actual anger and rage it was that we have an IDF soldier who has perpetrated de genocide, has led to the bombing of children, have bombed schools and, and at hospitals. They're, they're literally allowing them to come in and speak at our school. When we so valiantly every day, we say we have protests against IDF. We have protests against the genocide. But it's a spit in our face when they say, no, have an IDF soldier come in and speak today. Let them come in, let them speak. When every day we are always fighting for this right to, to, for Palestinians, and then they just spit in our face and they invite an IDF soldier to come and speak. Uh, it's not even the soldiers, the IDF. The fact that they invited someone from an organization that is an apartheid genocidal state that has killed children, that has killed women, that have, they've ended family lives, they've destroyed family names, they've just downright decimated cities, and they allow them to come to speak to our school, and it's just, it's just disgusting. It, it's, there's no other words for it. There, there has to be something done. Someone has to speak, and we will speak. Because CUNY is, is, is just letting them do whatever they want. Invite who you want to speak, unless they're supporting Palestine. Unless they're for, they're saying it's again a genocide. They let whoever they want to come in to speak for Israel, for the IDF, but not for us. And they get mad. They give them extra police security. They, they, they have extra security. Instead of denying the event like we were begging to do, because this is, is a moral issue. This is morally corrupt. This is morally inappropriate to invite an actual perpetrator of genocide onto our school while every day we work with fires in unison with the Palestinians who are being killed every day. Truthfully, it was just we're fed up the fact that the President Wu allowed this to happen. He has constantly stepped on the toes of the MSA. He has constantly perpetrated Zionism into our school, into our campus, and we're just fed up. Now, I know this was an open event, right? Yeah. And anybody could have went in. Yeah. But uh, what was the reason why they told you why you couldn't go in? And um, well, they how do you said, feel about that? They said it was a, an occupation issue, which is funny because this is an occupation issue. They said there was enough room inside of the area, which is not true. Uh, like, it, it can hold a lot more than it does. It's, and then the issue was the fact that they were not letting anyone of us to go in to speak. We want to dialogue. We want to talk about this. We want to actually bring up the points of their issues. They weren't letting that happen. They weren't letting us discuss. They weren't letting us actually go out and go in to have a dialogue so we can point out the issues here. We want to discuss, we want to bring apart discussion, but they're not letting that happen. So we have to resort to protest. We have to resort to, to loud phones and, and going across campus because this needs to be heard. Education is the power to change. And we want people to know what's happening. We want people to know what the IDF is portraying, what they're doing. And they just letting that happen. So we have to go for another route. Can you talk about uh, CUNY's complicity in this and uh, their uh, repression, uh, repression, right, of, yes. of student voices? Yes, actually, so uh, about two months ago, uh, what's it called, um, the MSA posted on their story uh, uh, a, a post about the, the hostage who were captured. I don't know the exact message, but then uh, President Wu sent an email, uh, disregard, like he was basically bashing the MSA, saying that they shouldn't have sent this email out. They can't post this when, remember, CUNY schools, any organization can post whatever they want to post. But this was the first time when they said, no, you can't post that, even though we're allowed to. And they had a major uproar. They were emailing everyone saying it was an issue. Then we invited Daniel Hakika to come speak. And again, sent out another email saying, we don't support this. We can't allow this to happen. And that we're actually against it. And then they invite an IDF soldier. There's no message. There's no response. The president was silent because some of his biggest donors are Zionist. Actually, I heard from an uh, inside source that 
during the first email that went out against MSA is because backers and, and donors told them to send that email out. So honestly, it's just it's sad that we're we're under the thumb of donations and that we support whoever gives us money and that us as a junior, a, a city college, that we are just so heavily under someone's grip that we are being repressed with our voices, but they're not. We're being told what not to say, but they're not. We're being told who to invite, but they're not. It's just a hypocritism and it's just unfair and it's just it's just terrible. Uh, you said MSA? Yeah. What's MSA? The Muslim so? Student Association. The Muslim Student Association. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you would like to say? Honestly, really, I just want to say that this isn't an issue of a religion. This is an issue of, of race. This is a religion of right and wrong. This is just downright. 30,000 people, civilians have been killed. 10,000 children have been injured. Kids are starving to death every single day. A couple of days ago, you heard about it. A couple of days ago, there was the, a stampede, as they say where people were collecting food, they were shot. There's video evidence of people getting shot and killed by the ADF. And there's, it's just so much issues are going on right now that it just doesn't make any sense that we're still allowing this. So we're putting a, a happy smile and letting them come in and, and paint our narratives and tell us what to believe when they're preventing our information from being put out. They're, they're saying that we're wrong. They're saying that we're standing up for, for, for terrorism. They're saying that, that when we are talking against Zionists, we're talking against Jewish people, but we're not. We have Jewish allies. I have so, there are multiple Jewish allies at the protest today that you saw who know right from wrong. It's just upsetting that we aren't allowed to talk about this without being put on canary, without being doxxed, without losing scholarships, without losing jobs. It's just unfair and it's disgusting. I came out here protesting today because this, this Zionist pig, war criminal, came uh, to Queens College. So I want people to imagine for a second. Imagine the, the Holocaust is happening and a Nazi comes on the campus and he talks like nothing is going on. So that's what happened. I came to confront this war criminal, this Nazi, this Zionist pig. So uh, basically, I just came to confront him because he's a Zionist pig. Can you talk about the... Uh uh, campus, their their repression against Yes, the uh, president, he likes Israel a lot. He uh, likes to do the woo-woo for Israel because that's his name, Frank Wu. He loves to woo the Zionist in the office, of course. Uh, shame on him. Screw him. And uh, this guy has no shame. And the campus is just pro-Israel. It's been pro-Israel since I got here. Uh, can you talk about CUNY's complicity? In the CUNY's Senate complicit Senate? because that, that, it's not just CUNY. It's the mayor. It's the governor. They all love Israel. They love sucking Zionist cock. It's, I think there should, should be a law. We should put stripper poles in city hall and in, govern, in the governor office. And anyone who wants a bill passed, just go make it rain. You know, at, at least strip clubs is straightforward. Let's make our government buildings strip clubs. Make it straightforward. You, we want something, you want something. Let's make it straightforward at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not just CUNY, it's our, the whole country. And America's paying the price. Do you know how much money the billions we gave to Israel, we could have done with that money. Free health care, free college, I'm trying to get a job. The job market right now is terrible. Inflation, 8%. Uh, so, and I want to make it clear, I'm a Muslim American. I'm, I might vote for Trump. I'm considering that. Just to piss off the Democrats, just to piss off Joe Biden, I will vote for Trump because at least Trump is straightforward. He will stab you in the front and tell you who he is. Joe is a hoe. He knows nothing from his head to his toe. Not a worthy foe. Think so slow. He's so ugly or uglier than my asshole. He's a stripper. That's all he's good at being a stripper for Israel. And as an American, I'm disgusted. As an Arab, I'm disgusted. I'm gonna vote for Trump just to piss off the Democrat party. That's how pissed I am. It's not about liking Trump. Never gonna be like, oh my God, but Trump is right. I don't give a fuck. Excuse my language. I don't give a fuck. You don't do anything for me. What did the Democrats do for me? Nothing. Minimum wage is garbage. My life is garbage. Jobs are garbage. The medical system is garbage. We give our money to Israel and, and uh, Saudi Arabia and so on and so forth. I might as well just vote for Trump. At least Trump is straightforward. He, he's, he said that when we were in Syria, we're there for the oil. Or that we're going to support Israel straightforward. That, so if the Democrats want my vote, get rid of Joe the Ho. Put someone who's pro-Palestine. Put someone who's going to look out for our interests. If not, screw you. I'm voting for Donald Trump. So will other Michiganders in Michigan and Muslims in general. We're, we're tired of it. We're tired of the Democrat Party. So you have until November. You can still change. If you don't change, I'm voting for Trump. I'm letting you know right now. It was Palestine. It was Palestine. It was Palestine. No, I'm a Mechimah. I'm It was, yes, but the, we, we already talked about this. This the Palestine was considered a sunjuk, which under the Ottoman Empire is considered a state. The same way that in the United States of America, New York is a state. If, if, someone, if, if Russia were to come to New York and occupy it and say, New York was never a country, yes, but it was a state that was part of the United States of America. Palestine was a sunjuk or a state that was part of the all-encompassing Ottoman Empire. Now you're going to say, oh, but it was never a country, because when you say what is Palestine, when you say what, 
What's it going on? There's nothing! No, no, no. Nothing. That looks sauce on top of soil. Wait. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. There's no third temple. What's it built on? What's it built on? Is it built on the first temple, which we don't know the location of, or the second temple? It's built on the Jewish temple. There's the no Jewish temple. temple. The second temple. The second temple. The Jewish land. First no, second. it's not. Wait, wait, wait. First or second? There were two. There were two, right? Correct. The, so I'll the so wailing I'm wall is which temple? Religion. The wailing wall is which that temple? That makes no sense. The wailing wall is which temple? temple? The second temple. The emperor that created the second temple, does he know where the first temple was? No. That he just made it in in memory of the first temple, the temple of Solomon. Do you believe in God? Hold on. Do you believe in God? Listen, I feel like. Do you believe in God? Yes or no? No. You believe in God? Now, now, okay. no Palestinian, no Palestinian, <laughs> because most Palestinians, 99.9% .9 of Palestinians, are either Christian or Muslim. Both groups of people believe that there is Jewish history inside of Palestine. Nobody denies that. Not even Hamas, which you guys can't even pronounce it, Hamas. <laughs> they don't Hamas? even deny that there is Jewish history inside of Palestine, flavor? right? Where Any the, of them do. Absolutely. No, they do no, not. They don't. Because if they did, because, wait, because if they did, they, don't. they would be blaspheming the Islamic religion and they would be blaspheming the Christian religion because Christianity recognizes the children of Israel is and Islam recognizes you're, you're giving me commentary. No. What's your question? He's so, giving you a history lesson. So, something you need. What's your question? Okay, so the question, so um, the question I'm going to ask you is, what is a, is Jew in ethnicity or is it a religion? Good question. All right, good. Now we got a good question. Okay. So this is something people get confused by a lot. Very confused. People get confused by a lot. They say, well, what is Judaism, right? <laughs> Judaism is really, it's sort of unique because most religions, like let's say Catholicism, right? Catholic, right? Most religions are just a religion, right? You can go and learn about Catholicism, you can take classes on how to become a good Catholic, and you'll convert, and it's a religion, right? Judaism is, is pretty unique because it is both. It is both. It is a religion, but it is also also an ethnicity. So I have a question. Wait, if wait, I do wait, a wait, DNA wait, test, wait, if wait, I do wait, a wait, DNA test. So finish the to finish the question, to finish the question, it is, it is, and this is important for people to understand. Judaism is both. It's not just religion. It's a religion and an ethnicity of religion. I am so glad you brought up that point. My, I am, I'm however so. You want, however you want to. I am so glad you brought up that point. I, my last name is Shui. So before now, before I get into this point. So you just admitted that it is possible for someone to leave the faith of Judaism and still be considered a Jew. Yes or no? Okay. So because Judaism, so, you're born. You're, you're be careful now. Be careful now. So someone can leave the fold of Judaism and still be considered a Jew. So based off of your definition of what a Jew is, all Palestinians are Jews, and dare I say, more Jewish than Ashkenazi Jews, than Mizrahi Jews. DNA test. Because, because if you're, Boy, if you're going to tell me that being a Jew is an ethnicity but also simultaneously a religion. It is both, correct? Okay, that it is simultaneously both. That means that someone can say, I reject the message of the Torah, I am an atheist, or I, I am leaving Judaism, and you would still consider them a Jew. So based off of your definition of what a Jew is, the Muslims that, I mean, I'm sorry, the Jews that 2,000 years ago were living in the kingdom of uh, Canaan, which then became the kingdom of Israel, which then became the kingdom of Israel, ah, the kingdom of Israel which is, ago. wait a second, which is Israel's different. Not, not, not Ashkenazi Jews, my ancestors, not your ancestors. ancestors. Not your ancestors. I, agree. Yes. I agree. No, no, no. The Philistia, 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 which is what the Philistine, which is which is where the so name Israel Palestine was comes from. First. No, it's not no, their no, first. No, the, ki no, the kingdom of Israel. Where does the name Palestine come from? Philistia. Before it was called Philistine, it was called Canaan. It was called Canaan. Well, Stop playing with the words. Who, who changed the name to Palestine? Not the Romans. No, that, that's, a Zionist, that's a Zionist myth. That's a Zionist myth. That's Again, Zionist the Philistines! The before the Roman the Empire! Yes, yeah, Mark! Before, yes, Mark! No, wait. Before Islam, before Al Aqsa, I agree, I agree. Before yes, all of that, yes, was yes. the Jewish yes. temple. And before yes. the Jews, who was there before wait the Jews? Yes, Mark! We have yes. historical. Yes, right? We have historical. We're not denying that. Right, no one's denying that. So the point that I was trying to make. You're talking about Jewish versus. Correct. So, the people that were living in Philistine, the people that were then living, I mean, in the kingdom of Israel, can't. First Canaan, no, 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 no. then Kingdom of Israel, Judea, which is including Judea and Samaria, and then Philistine, which was around the same time, but yes, the Kingdom of Israel was there first. Now, over time, did those people that considered themselves Jews convert to Christianity? When, when, when Jesus came, yes. And then few converted. Very few. Over the course of 2,000 years. Very few. Very few converted. Are you kidding? Very few converted. Very few converted. Very 
to, okay, regardless of whether... But they, what's your point? Okay. I, I okay. want to hear your point. Okay, You're so point. Over, over the course of those 2,000 to 3,000 years, okay. some of those Jews converted okay, from say. Judaism okay. to Christianity okay. and then to Islam. Okay, let's okay. Now, some of the, also, some of the Jews, the self-identifying Jews that did the first and second aliyahs were not necessarily religious Jews. Right. They saw themselves as ethnically Jewish, right? Right. Okay, so based off of your definition of Jew, how come Palestinians are not considered Jewish? A, Palestinians don't consider themselves to be Jewish. Right, but that doesn't, no, 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 that's not, that doesn't matter. I'm not going off of what Palestinians self-identify as. I'm going off of, because you're saying that Jews so are Judaism, indigenous to Judea. So to be a Jew, it's very simple. There's two ways to become Jewish. Number one, mm -hmm. if your mother's Jewish, you're Jewish. It goes by the mom in Judaism. So if your mom is Jewish, you're Jewish. It's kind of like... That's a self-defeating argument, well, though, because well, if someone's gonna, father... If someone's father, father is Jewish, doesn't go right, so then you're you saying that, wait, wait, so you're saying that Judaism is a religion, then it's not an ethnicity. It's both, let me say. So, right, but, but, ethnic, my father but the way that ethnicity is works good. is it doesn't go by belief system. Ethnicity goes by regardless of whether oh, it's your mom or your dad, absolutely. you're still Jewish. Absolutely, and we can okay. do DNA tests and all of that. Right, which in Israel you need a court order to get um, that, but whatever. Where do you think, you know, Judaism, again, if you trace my ancestry back, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm an American. Born in New York, okay. etc. My grandparents were born in Brooklyn. Great grandparents came from Russia. But if you keep tracing it back, right, eventually I go back to Spain. So my family came through Spain. Now in 1492, the Spanish expelled the Jews from Spain. But originally, where did Jews come from? From the, kingdom, from the kingdom of Israel. Yes! So we are the indigenous people of that land. That is what I am saying. Well, before the kingdom we of the Israel, they were living Jews in Babylon. Are but the indigenous people of that land. Land. We didn't come from Poland. No, no, no. Yes. We didn't come from Russia. I agree with you. I agree we with you. Yes. We wound up yes. There. Right because there was because there. there was a Jewish expulsion. There was two Jewish Correct. expulsions. Yes. But no one is denying that. So we're agreeing on a lot here. Yes, so we are agreeing yeah. on a lot. What are we disagreeing? What we're disagreeing I'm, I'm, on is disagreeing Jews on because when 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 not when people like over over the course of those two thousand to three thousand years. The, there was a Jewish expulsion that went into Europe, but a lot of the people that were in Europe were also converts the, over those two thousand years. No, it's not. Yes, I understand that. I understand that Judaism is not is a non proselytizing We don't. I understand that Judaism is a non proselytizing religion. That's fine. But the people that founded the Zionist movement weren't religiously Jewish. Okay. Like I said, it's, it's both. It's both. So those. So those wait, people, but you're if, still Jewish whether you're religious or not. Right. So how come the Palestinians aren't considered? Are Jews then? Because if they, if Palestinians were to take a DNA test, you would find out that they're Jewish, even though they don't identify, identify as Palestinian. I love it. I love it. Good question. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. If you could find like a Palestinian family, mm -hmm. and it would be somehow you could like show that their mm -hmm. their mom, their great. Let's say you. I don't know. Let's right. just Let's just say for sake of argument, if we found out that your great great grandmother was Jewish. We just, you didn't know, but like, let's say we just found out tomorrow, oh my god, we, we went on Ancestry.com or whatever, and like, your great great grandmother was Jewish. Guess what? You're Jewish. You're done. Uh -huh. Done. You but why, do, why couldn't you go back but to Because done. I identify done. as Muslim. You can identify as Muslim, you could pray five times. Okay. Let, let me finish. Right. This is such a good question. You could pray five times a day, you could identify as, as, as anything you want. We find out your, if we find out that your great great grandmother was Jewish, you're Jewish. Done. Okay. Finish. So you're, so so we're not arguing. It, go, it goes. No, we are because by, it's matrilineal. Because, because it's matrilineal more descent. than so ninety percent. Wait a second. Wait a second. You went back to so you keep flip flopping, and I understand that it's not it's not to a fault of yourself, but it's because of the definition of you're applying to what Judaism is. You're simultaneously applying it to ethnicity, but also to religion. And the, where you're getting stuck is you keep jumping and going from if on your mom's side you're Jewish, if on your mom's side you're Jewish, but that's not how ethnicity works. Because if we go back 3,000 years ago, let's say if we go back 3,000 years, you have to go through your maternal parents to see lineage to the kingdom of Israel, right? Or what we would call Palestine, right? Or what others would call Canaan. It, does, it depends on what moment of, moment okay. of time we're talking sure, about, right? Sure, yeah. But if I look at my lineage and I keep going back, it ends up being my father. We're both just as indigenous, but the, it, so that's the dictionary definition of what indigenous is. So regardless of, so that's what, what ethnically means. You cannot flip flop like a lot of Zionists do between what, between ethnicity and between religion. And religion does not make you ethnic to where you live. That's just physically impossible. Let me just say this. Zionism, you keep saying Zionism to me is not a dirty word. It's it is, a, it is a, a dirty word. I'll explain it to you. I'll explain Zionism it to you. Zionism just means the right. idea. Let me tell you wait, something. Wait, 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 wait. But the definition. Let me send it. It just means the 
you again, you keep saying the word Zionism like I'm going to be. A swastika is a symbol excuse of peace. Me, excuse me. A swastika me. is a symbol Zionism, of peace. Zionism. Is it okay if I. Wear a swastika can, on can my I just shirt? Finish? Zionism is just the idea that the Jewish people have a right to live safely and securely in their ancient homeland of Israel. The founder of Zionism. That is a beautiful yeah. thing. It is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I agree That's all Zionism means. That's you know, you make Zionism it sound means. like it's this like. That's not what Zionism means. I don't know, some it's kind of horrible. That's that not what Zionism means. Murder of That's not actual. Death. Death. Who was the founder of Zionism? Who created the term Zionism? What, what does that have to do with anything? Because, because that's where we're saying it. Theodore Herzl, an atheist Wait, Zionist. Wait, Aliyah Chief, who <laughs> created Zionism? Save time, save time. Bullshit. Was Herzl a believer in the Torah? Herzl was not a religious man. Okay, stop right there. I'm so Again, glad you're there. Wait, wait, no, no, let no. me make That's it. like a person that has no father, says so, I have a father, but he promised me Palestine, he promised me money. Based off of what you're saying, you have no right to connect the ideology of Zionism to Judaism. Absolutely. Why not? No, because you, the founder the founder of Zionism is not a religious Jew. Who coined the term? Where's the word Zion come from? Where do you find For what? Yes, no, but Zion, no, Torah, Zion. Right? It's in the Torah, it's in the Jewish holy books, right? Okay. The Tanakh. Right? The but Torah. he doesn't believe in Judaism. He doesn't believe in, he doesn't believe in Judaism. Right. It doesn't matter. You're still Jewish. Oh. Right? We talked about you this. Just right? But the no, ideology no. of Zionism. Tell them about the DNA. It's of both your God's God's okay. Okay. How can it be Zionism? Judaism is not just a religion. So I have a question. Wait. If I take a DNA so test and it says I'm Jewish, I can go back, right? You don't understand? Yes. When people say that Zionism is a disgusting ideology, we compare it to Nazism. They're wrong. You don't want to know. When people say that Zionism is a disgusting ideology, we compare it to Nazism. The reason why we do that is Zionism does not does not mean that Jews have a right to live in Israel, because if that was the case, Zionism was invented by Theodore Herzl. Theodore Herzl lived in like the late 1800s, right? Before that time, the mission of Zionism was already complete, because guess what? There were Jews living inside. There were Jews already living. Zionism is the belief that the Jew, that the, the, that the state of Israel should needs to exist, which will be a homeland for the Jews, which needs to be, which necessarily Needs to be governed by the Jews and needs to be a Jewish state. Needs to be yes. Needs to be governed by so the bad? Jews. Let me finish. Is that so hard? Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. That it needs to be governed by the Jews and it needs to be a Jewish state. But for it to be a Jewish state, it needs to maintain a Jewish majority. Now, for people that are actually indigenous to the land, like for example, if let's say a country in Africa said that this land, uh, it needs to be uh, like for example the Congo. This needs to be for the Congonese and the Congonese are gonna are gonna run it and they're gonna govern it. No problem. Why? Because they're indigenous to the land. So we're not gonna we're not, there's never gonna be an issue, right? But when you say that. Jews need to govern it and it needs to be a Jewish land. For you to maintain that inherently, you need to maintain a Jewish majority, which if you're actually indigenous, wouldn't be a problem because your people would have already been there. But we were expelled. But we not all of you though. Not all the Jews were wait, You honestly believe. I have a question. Oh, yeah. let, me, let me slip this around. You honestly believe that over the course of the last 3,000 years, that when the Jews were expelled, that's it. All the indigenous people that lived there just automatically oh, disappeared. No, there were other people living there. Absolutely. I'm okay. not going to say there were and those nobody, nobody there. All right. But here's, let me give you a question. What land are we on right now? The United States land of America. Not ours. The United States of America. Right. Right. But if you go back far enough, what in, there were indigenous people here, right? What, yeah. what tribe? Does anybody know? The Lenape. Correct. The Lenape. So now let's, let's say the Lenape got kicked out, which they did, right? Let's say we find Lenape people and they say, hey, you know, guys, the Lenape say, hey, you know, I'm indigenous. This is my land. I, I, I want to live here. I want right. to be here. And then they Would you guys say, hey, that's, you kind of have a claim on that, right? Like if the Lenape came to Queens College, you'd say, hey, they got a pretty good claim on the land. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Jewish people. We were expelled, we were kicked out, but we are still the indigenous people of the land. Just yes, like but the you Lenape, are not the yes, but just we like just the Lenape are the we just established of, of New York City. We just the Jewish people also mm -hmm. have a historical claim mm -hmm. to the land, which includes Palestinians. Israel. And 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 I, and I hope that the Peretz already did an article on this. Like right? eighty to ninety percent of Palestinians can retrace their roots back to the ancient Hebrews, back to the people that 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 lived in the kingdom of Israel. The problem is that the, the, the thing is, you guys don't believe it because we're just Muslim. But the thing is, my ancestors were Christian and then they were Jewish. As in Jewish, they believed in Judaism, but they weren't like we. I don't believe in this whole and because I'm not Jewish, I don't necessarily believe in the definition of Judaism being an ethnicity and also a religion, a religion, because it's oxymoronic. You can include and disclude whoever you want. But now let me finish my point. So what is Zionism? 
So Zionism believes in a Jewish priority state, which we just established because you said that Jewish, because Jews need to need to govern it, right? For you to maintain that Jewish state, you inherently need to create a supremacist a supremacist ideology because they have to maintain the majority. How did they maintain the majority? They didn't just do it with Jews immigrating in the first and second aliyahs. They had to commit the Nakba because if you believe in a Jewish state, but your Jewish state has Palestinians living in it, and the Palestinians by nature are going to be are going to be the majority there because they've been there for hundreds of thousands of years, going all the way back to Canaan, which surprise surprise is actually older than the Kingdom of Israel, which I didn't I didn't get to finish that like portion of the argument, but it is the Canaan came before the Kingdom of Israel, and there were pagans and there were pagans living there, not Jews. There are so no people Canaanites that, running around, right? We don't have Canaanites anymore. You have no self-identifying Canaanites, but over over the course of hundreds of thousands of years, the, everyone adopted different different I, the Jewish, identities. The Jewish people are equally indigenous to Israel as the Lenape are. are indigenous yes, yes, I agree with you. If they are ethnically Jewish, not if they just 400, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 years ago converted as to Judaism, for, which, by the way, is the case. I'm not going to say for a majority because I'm not well versed in this topic yet. But for a good portion of the Ashkenazi Jews that traveled from Europe to Palestine, which is why people like Netanyahu had to change their last name, which is why people like that came Mizrahi Jews that came had to change their last name. No, no, because we keep getting stuck on this point of Zionism, and a lot of Zionism, Jewish students. Yes, Zionism. It, it, you believe in a Jewish supremacist state. Keep using the word supremacist. Yes, right? you said that it needs to be governed by Jews. Do you believe in the idea of a Muslim state? Um, I believe. Do you believe there should be a Muslim state? No. Yes or no? Uh, in, in, a state run a, under Sharia law by yes. Muslims. Okay, so if you can have a Muslim state, we can have a Jewish have state. To, but now wait a second. No, 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 no. We don't kill people together. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. But your constitution literally denies. Your the Israeli constitution defines what a Jew is, and how they define a Jew is someone based off of religion and based off of ethnicity. Right. So they are basically saying that simply because of the virtue of you being Jewish, you are automatically indigenous to the land. That's not how it works. Who defines what a Muslim is? Huh? Who defines what a Muslim is? Um, a Muslim, Muslim is a religion. Uh, yes, but who defines within that religion? Who defines what a Muslim is? With, uh, within the religion, someone that uh, makes the shahada, that, that, that God is one and that Muhammad so, is the last so, prophet. So, so Muslims get to define what a Muslim is? Yes. Okay, good. Jews, Jews get to define what a Jew is. Yes, but if you're, yes, but right? if you're... If, you define what a Muslim is, someone who says there's no God but Allah, Muhammad is a prophet, right. and they believe that? Right. Okay, just like you get to define what a Muslim is, Jewish people, myself, yes. we get to define what a Jewish person is. And and but according to your definition, I'm a Jew. Yeah. According so, to my definition, you could be Jewish. No, no, no. I know. You made an amazing yeah, point. Yeah. You made an amazing he point. You, you made an amazing be. point. You might be. You I might. don't know your your matrilineal answer. But Wait, you, so why are you bringing up you matrilineal? Bringing you matrilineal was, doesn't matter, it's not though. Religion. It does, because you, you, you don't get get to, ethnic, you you don't get to define what Judaism is. Just like I agree. I don't get to define what a Muslim is. But that's why I asked you. That's why I asked you, how do you define what a Jew is? But it's not my fault. said it's two ways. Matrilineal okay. descent or, or you convert through an Orthodox Jewish. Oh, bullshit. So it's you or. So you just admitted that someone doesn't have to be believe in the Jewish faith to be Jewish. Well, no, to convert, you would have to believe in the Jewish faith. You can't oh. an atheist. Like, if you, were, if you were an atheist, you couldn't convert because no rabbi would convert you. you like, so Theodore Herzl isn't indigenous then? No, he was born, he was, he was matrilineal uh, descent, uh, uh, he was born uh, uh, Jewish. So uh, okay, so then we're going back to the matrilineal, but matrilineal is a religious ideology, it's right. not how science works. It's a works. religious ideology, and we have the right as Jewish people to define our religion, just like Muslims have a, a right to define But, but you did not only Jewish define it as a religion, you defined it as a religion, religion and an ethnicity. ethnicity. Yes, it's both, yes. Yeah. If it's if your mom is Jewish, you're Jewish. No, 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 but that's, that's a religious ideology. Yes. Okay, how does ethnicity work? Ethnicity means that if your mom or your he father doesn't know what is, he's saying. if my he's mom done. or my father is ethnically Jewish, I'm Jewish. I'm ethnically Jewish. I'm not religiously Jewish. You have you have Jewish ancestry. Sure, sure. Ah, so so I have Jewish ancestry, correct? Yeah. Might be. Okay, so wait a second. If I have Jewish ancestry, that doesn't mean you're Jewish. Oh, but you so are. wait. 
So based on also, you don't identify as it. You identify. But, as you don't, but, you don't, but that doesn't matter. According to your definition of what Judaism is, it wouldn't matter if I identify as a Jew or not. If your mom or grandmother or great grandmother were Jewish, you would absolutely be a hundred. Right, but you get what I'm saying. Where I'm saying that that contention that you just made is a religious contention, and that's not how science works. And I don't think you have a right to define our religion. Just like I don't want to define it as ethnic. I'm asking you. Okay, I'm. I asked you. What was the definition of Judaism? You said that it is simultaneously an ethnicity and it is also a religion. But you said that when it comes to ethnicity, the way that you're ethnically Jewish is only through the mom. But that any scientist, any high school student will tell you that's not how science works. That's not ethnic. If someone, okay, so that is the religious and, and science aspect. science also says things that are not in the Quran, right? Science says things that are not in the Torah. That's true. Well, it says things against the Torah also. I'm just, I'm just, no, no, I'm, I'm just saying. The method was created by a Muslim. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. It says things that are not. Right. So you're going to bring in science. That's another issue. Well, because we're bringing we're in science because you're saying ethnicity. I don't think you know yes. what ethnicity means. Right. So listen, I'm saying that point to religiously, say. Religiously, yes. So religiously, yeah. we go by the mom, and that is part of our religion. Right. So why are you using right. that to describe right. right. you have to go by the dad. Now, because the way that religious faith works is, if someone from Denver, Colorado, that is black, converts to Judaism tomorrow, are they indigenous to Israel? Yes or no? If you convert, it is considered as if we, we you're adopted in. It's as if you, you go straight back to Abraham. So yeah. they have they have more of a right so to that's be the, a religious, in that land. Wait a second. Than the so, but you agree that that doesn't. By that, his sure, you can. Jewish? It's a religious belief. It's a religious, it's a religious belief. Religious belief that is we, again Judaism is a religion and okay. an ethnicity. We're both. We're okay. not just one. In the right. Book of Ruth, it's interesting. The Book of Ruth. It says, she says, your people are my people and your God is my God. It's interesting, she puts people before God. She says, your people are my people and your God is my God. She talks, so there's an ethnic uh, nation state, even back then, thousands but, but of So how come like? when the Jews came over to Israel, they didn't see the Palestinians as Jewish? Because based off of your definition of what Jews is, even if, but based off of your definition of Jew, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter because whether someone identifies some, as right, right. whether would, someone identifies would, as a right, Jew or right. not, they would still be considered. But how do we know? All right, good question. Good question. How do we know if someone's Jewish? I don't know, right? If you tell me, hey, bro, I'm Jewish, I'm like, okay. I mean, you guys fought like six wars and killed a hundred thousand, like hundreds of thousands of people over it. So it generally, go, it generally goes by your 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 mom and your family tradition, but you're right? Which you agree, that which you agree is a religious thing. It's not scientific. Your family, it's not wait, let me say, if your family tradition have nothing to do with Judaism, but you tell me you're Jewish, but like, you pray, you pray towards Mecca five right. times a day, right. and you don't keep the Shabbat on Friday, on right. Saturday, you know, so you're doing so things, I be so Jewish? I, I would be like, well, you're telling me you're Jewish, but you're, So you would know. I be considered Jewish? But, but you just said lineage. If your mom is Jewish, Ethnicity. Yes. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Wait, wait, can I slow this up? So how come in the Israeli constitution, the Israeli constitution says yes. that someone is considered a Jew, Simply if someone converts. I don't think he's and this was in this, it, uh, I believe this was the citizen law of either the 70s or the 60s. Convert, so you, those people, but yes, those people are not. They're considered ethnically Jewish now. Okay, but they're not it's as like magic. So we they're know. more indigenous than Palestinians. I have a question. If you convert, question. yeah, if, if, if someone that's so, not Jewish converts, you are you are considered 100%. That's why Judaism is, you know, and Zionism, it's not racist. You could be black, it is racist, Asian. So. Anyone that, question, 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 anyone that converts is 100% Jewish. If I, as an Asian, Woman yes. Converted to Judaism, right? I have more of a right to have a citizenship to, to that land than him. Yes, even, that's exactly what he's saying. Though he you convert exactly to Judaism, you are considered a Jewish person. I'm more, I'm more indigenous yeah. to my than Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, please tell me you got that. He said yes. Cut the camera. Can you define that? Now you see why Zionism that, 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 is a racist oh, ideology. Not racist. It's a religion, okay. and our religion says that if you convert, you are part of the Jewish people. You said it's both a religion and a Right, but that doesn't make her indigenous to the land. What? That's a settler colonist mindset. Mindset. Settler colonist mindset. Well, what colony did we represent? To be a colonist, you have to represent. Because Jews are claiming to be indigenous to the kingdom of Israel. But what I'm telling you is over the course of 3,000 years, a lot of them, Ashkenazi and more Ashkenazi than Mizrahi, but mostly Ashkenazi Jews were converts. They were converts. They converted in Georgia. They converted. Jews converted. I am telling you that is historically wrong. Compared to other religions, yes. Very few. Look at today. Yeah, but You're going to find, you find Yeah, but now over the course of 3,000 years, give you an example. my dude. I'll give you an example. Like Jews for Jesus. You find very few of them, right? Very, very. Yeah. There are some, of course. There are mm -hmm. some. 
but very few. Judaism has a very strong connection going back thousands of years. Yeah, we get a few conversions here and there. Some people become Buddhist, some people become Christian, whatever, but it's very, very, very few. Okay. All right, and you know, if you're talking about DNA tests, yeah, we, they've actually Which done. I think is stupid. I don't think that, like, we shouldn't believe in eugenics or like no, a, like we're, ethnic we're, we're societies. Getting, we're getting like, into the weeds here. Like, the simple thing is, I'm a, I'm, a because I'm a Zionist because I believe. You know what? I believe you're not a Zionist. People, I'm 100 a Zionist. I believe you're not a Zionist. A Zionism is just the idea that I have a right to live safely and securely in my ancient homeland okay. of Israel. Do Palestinians have the right to live on their land? Do you believe? Okay. Do you believe that Palestinians no, are indigenous? Don't believe that. Or do you believe that we're Arab invaders, that we came from Jordan and Egypt, and we could go to any of the 57 Arab countries in the world? Invaders. I don't think they're indigenous. I think there we go. indigenous means who was there first. Okay. The Jews were there first. No, the Canaanites no, were, the there were there first. Right, there are no Canaanites. Yeah, there are. Yes, how do you know that? How do you know that? You're a professor. Have you met like a Canaanite lately? Yeah. An Amalekite? No, they won't identify as Canaanites, but the Canaan people exist. My point is the Jews back to well, ethnicity, back to lineage. You know what? My faith is literally the Torah. The Torah ago, says so that when the children of Israel, when Ben Israel no went Whoop. to the land, you were trying to get that land. He fought the Canaanites. I would say Palestinians also have a claim on the land. I'm not saying that they don't have any claim. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that, no, you know, uh, they should all be thrown out. So then you're not a Zionist. No, that's not what I'm saying. Of course I'm a Zionist. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in a two state solution. I want to share the it land. It doesn't exist. Sadly, you can't, most you can't of the kill people, my entire family and then expect sadly, me to live peacefully with you your side family, by side. Where are you from? None of your business. Okay. They're my family. Okay. So your what's family, your problem? Where are what's you from? Where are what's you your problem? They're my family. What's your problem? You're from oh, Palestine? Are you from Israel? Yeah, yeah. Are you from yeah. Palestine? Are you from Israel? Yeah. Yes, I'm indigenous to Israel. I'm indigenous to Palestine. My point is, we should have a two-state, we should have a two-state solution where people can live harmoniously and in peace, where Jewish children yeah. are not getting killed, and Palestinian children are not getting killed. Gonna, I'm going to break his whole argument with one sentence. Right. Right. If you're not I in favor agree. of a two-state solution, then you're not in favor of I peace. agree with you. That state existed. It was called Palestine. There yep. was no yes, such state. that's true. There was no it was such okay, state. I, no, that is I, a lie. Was such no, that is not a lie. That, no okay, go read. Did you, did you read Rashidi Jews, Khalidi? Why did you, did you get read massacred in 1929? In the Hebron in massacre? Hebron. Why? The You're right. There was. Why were I am massacred? not denying for a second that there was a, there was attacks on Jews during the mandate during the mandate of Palestine. I'm not denying that for a second. If we, if we want to, but have we have peace. to look at it holistically. Okay, so we're not, we're right, looking at right, one point right. in time. Why can't we just take a map, draw a line down? Yeah. You get on one side. You get to have peace. Is that what they're doing? Listen, listen, listen. Because if you don't, do you accept the right of Israel to exist as a Jewish state? No. Now can I answer why? Now can I answer why? Can I answer why? Because I, I don't because believe look, in when you look at it from my framework, right, as someone that, read about it in one book, that believes in the textbook definition of Zionism, which is Theodore Herzl has the right to define that term since he's the one that coined that term, it is a Jewish supremacist state. I believe in a state, which you said you also believe in too, where Jews, Muslims, and Christians should live equally. And I believe that state existed before Israel existed, and it's called Palestine. Hold on, but you also said Muslims have a right to their own state. So why do Muslims get to have their own state, but you didn't Jews say don't? Has to be a Muslim. Why do Muslims? I didn't say get, that Palestine uh, 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 has to be a Muslim state. Uh, 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 you said Muslims have a right to a state. I believe of their that own. Jews yes. have a right so to a state why too, but just not, right to a state <laughs> <own>. <laughs> just not ours. When you say okay, so here's the thing: when we talk about if Muslims when have we, a right to a state of their own right. under a <laughs> caliphate, whatever you want to call it. You. People, so why do you. don't Jews why have a right to no, a state? No, 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 no. We never right. said that. Jews, no, never Jews said that, and though. Muslims have a right to government. So when I say that they have a right okay. to state, they have a right to government. Okay, so then when Palestine was a sun joke, and you can look this up because I don't know, I, I, I will buy you a copy of Rashidi Khalidi, 100 Year War on Palestine, and you can read that. It says that Palestine was a sun joke. It was considered a state as part of the Ottoman Empire. Jews had their own courts. Muslims had their own courts. Christians had their own courts so whenever there was problems b within the Jewish community they had they, under Islamic law Jews would get tried in their own courts and they would have their they would have their own Torahs and they would have their own rabbis that would that would deal with all of that stuff so when I say I believe in the Sharia I'm not ashamed of another bullshit talking point I have to right what's no I don't want to be under Sharia you know why because I'm not Muslim 
you can be under Sharia whether, law, that's fine. Okay, whether you I wanna, don't want to be under Sharia law because okay. I'm not a Muslim. Whether, so again, if you believe, if you believe that Muslims have a right to their own governance, to a land where they can govern themselves, right. then you should extend that same courtesy. So do you. That's what I said. That's Sharia. That's what Sharia is. No, it is. I don't want to live under Sharia. But he just no, no. You said you want to live under Sharia Jewish is. law. I don't want to live under Sharia law. And if you're trying to force it on me, boss. Are you trying to force me to live under Sharia law? No. Wait. You just said I don't want to live under Sharia law. You don't want to live under Jewish law. I don't want to live under Sharia law. But he just told me I don't want to pay the jizya. Okay. I'm not paying. Jizya. Okay. I'm not being a dimmy. I'm gonna be a proud the Jew Jizya. in the land of my forefathers. So you'd rather pay more taxes than less taxes. Abraham, the land of you'd rather, Isaac, uh -huh. and the land of Jacob. Okay. That's where I'm gonna be a proud Jew okay. in the land of my forefathers. The land of Abraham, right? I am not gonna Who's pay the, father the Jizya. Of the Arabs? I am yeah, not like, going to be a dimmy. I am not going to have to give wait, the, the right of way to a Muslim. That, that, that is not. Street. That is. Wow. I, don't, I'm not I am gonna, sorry that I you were told that. That is not what Sharia that. is. That is not, not what Sharia is. That. But, again, but you don't even know what Sharia I is. Think Muslims should have a right to their own governance in a Muslim land, but you're not extending to the Jewish people that same right. But, but that is literally what Sharia is. And I don't want to live under Sharia. But, but you want to live under Jewish law. Jewish law is not Sharia. Jewish Sharia. law is the halakha. I agree with you. Jewish law is the halakha. Right. Right? Halakha that is how is Jews law. were allowed to halakha. govern themselves halakha. under the Sharia. Allowed? I don't want to be allowed. So you I don't want to. Okay, so I, I want to but, stand. Okay. I want to stand up Even as a proud Jew okay. in my own land. Then sit down. My own laws. I don't want to be given permission okay. by Sharia law to okay. do this or do that. No, no, no. I want to live proudly under my own shawarma? land, on my own shawarma? two feet, okay. in the land of my forefathers. Uh -huh. Just like a Muslim should be able to do the same in Pakistan or whatever Muslim country Pakistan? you, you want to live in, right. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, you have 20 something Muslim countries in the Middle East where you can do that. We have a tiny little country the size of New Jersey. The size of New Jersey, this tiny, small country the size of New Jersey where the Jews say we don't we don't want to live under Sharia law. Okay. We don't want to live under, not under Christian law. We don't want to live under Hindu law. Okay. We don't want to live under atheist. We want to do our own thing. We want to live under Jewish law. And you guys should have that same right in Muslim land. So, but when in you Muslim say I don't, I don't recognize the right of Israel to exist as a Jewish state, you're not extending to the Jewish people, to my people, the same courtesy that I'm extending okay. to you. you. I want you to live under your traditions and you, under your customs and under Sharia, whatever you do, praying five times a day, all of that, fine. And I want you to let me do my own thing right. as a Jewish person. Right, so uh, that argument is respectable, but I also want to, uh, it's a compelling argument, but I want to bring up something that is that you brought up before. You, you use the word dimmy. Now, what's ironic is, and, and a I'm lot of- I'm just gonna say, I gotta go in five oh, minutes because my meter is lot. up, I'm not running away. I would love to, con okay. to, to continue down, this sometime. Okay, right. We should have had this, this event two been, hours ago when you guys invited a whole IDF soldier on I campus. Think this has actually been, I think this has actually been constructed and productive. Okay. I, I hope people would agree with so, that. So a lot of mm -hmm. Zionist propagandists mm -hmm. bring up the idea of, I don't want to be a Demi, I don't want to be a Demi. So here's the ironic thing about that. The Dimi tax, if you actually go back to the time of the Ottoman Empire, was actually uh, half of the zakat that Muslims are required to pay every single year. So based, you seem to be suggesting that for some reason, um, Jews were like second class citizens under the Ottoman Empire or under the Muslim caliphs. But if we're gonna go down that route, I guess Muslims were twice as discriminated against because they had to pay twice more than what Jews had to pay. Which just about and by the way, by the way, so let me just finish my point. The way that the Dimi tax worked and the reason why Jews had to pay taxes, the same way that you pay taxes in the United States, which I don't see you complaining about that, but that's a whole other point. The reason why Jews and Christians had to pay taxes in Muslim lands was because Jews did not have to be enlisted to fight Muslim wars. Christians did not have to be enlisted to fight Muslim wars. It was Muslims that had to fight those wars. And by the way, the Dimi tax was basically used by the governance throughout the Ottoman Empire and throughout the caliphs and redistributed back into the Jewish communities, back into the Christian communities mm -hmm. over over time. Right. And that's something that I think Jewish students need to look into. And it's that's why a lot of actually religious Jewish students spit on the whole ideology of Zionism. Because when you look into Jewish history, times at when Jewish history was the greatest was in Baghdad. Times that Jewish history was the greatest was in Jerusalem 
guess what? When they were under control of Muslim caliphs. Now, I'm not under saying I, I, now I am not saying, now I am not saying that for that, that Jews do not have the right to govern themselves. The reason why I believe in the Sharia ah as a Muslim, right now you're getting into religious beliefs, is because the Sharia ah says that you let the Christian, you let whatever religion people believe in, they are allowed to govern themselves in that way. That is what was allowed in the Sharia. Ah. Now you said, oh, I don't want to be governed yeah, under the Sharia. Ah. That's be that's a right, topic. Can I respond? That's, you brought up Dimi. You brought up Dimi. I don't want to respond. Again, number one, I don't want to be allowed. I don't want to be allowed. I'm a man. I don't want to be allowed. Palestinians don't want to be allowed to live in Israel. Arab Israelis don't want to be allowed to live in Israel. Palestinians don't want to be allowed. It's not a privilege when someone there is. So let's talk about Dimi. A Dimi, a Dimi, it's not just about paying a tax. It's about being a second class citizen. A Whoa. dimmy in the Quran, it says that you will pay the jizya. No, it doesn't. Eh, eh, let me Sharia is not in the Quran. It says, oh, no, I read the Daniel Quran. Daniel Hakikju could have educated him, but he didn't well, go to the no, event. No, no, the Quran wait, wait, wait. says you will pay the jizya and feel subdued. You will be wait, subdued. Wait, wait. The... I, will, I wish I had a Quran on me. I have one at home. Okay. Then don't say something. No, it is. You will yeah, feel Allah, subdued. please make sure that this man's SD card let's doesn't get corrupted. Uh, let's yeah, please. Ya yeah, Allah. Ya yeah, Allah. Yeah, Allah. Yeah, Allah. Amin. Right, wait, wait. Let's bring up the Quran. Because it says you will be a Control dimmy. Control F dimmy. You will pay the tax and well, feel subdued. All right, so we're going to bring up the Quran. Then I got to go. Okay. We're going to bring up. Is it, is but, okay, okay. Let's grant him that point. Let's let's grant him grant him the point. Grant him the point. You're paying the, literally half of what Muslims pay in their own lands. And it says you will feel subdued. You will you will pay the jizya so and be so under subdued. So, so then so then Muslims so then Muslims are twice as subdued because they pay double the taxes of what Jews had to pay. I don't want to be Such a subdued. Dumb subdued. I don't want to be subdued. You're subdued in America. You're in America. You're subdued in America. You pay the And you said that you will need a lot of I have great Yo, I have a question. Uh, I'm trying to look up this verse. <laughs> Tim Rosen. He's a law and ethics professor. Bro, I, I pray that this like goes online like on Twitter and just blows up. On, on both of our behalfs because I am someone that looks for the truth. You know, I'm not someone that's going to sit here and say, oh, Hamas are angels that came from the sky and they came here to save everybody on planet Earth. But I'm, I'm also not going to sit here and be like, the IDF isn't a terrorist organization. So I think this goes online. People are going to have a dialogue and we're actually going to get closer to the truth. But when the All thing right, is let like, me read the Quran. Are you an Quran. Yeah, that's this is the, the Quran, right? <laughs> which are, which are? Chapter 9. Okay. Okay. Fight against those. Fight against those who have been given the scripture as believed not in Allah nor the last day and forbid not that which Allah hath forbidden by his messenger, and follow not the religion of truth. Which now pay attention, scriptures? until they pay the tribute. Wait, wait, you said chapter nine. Until so they pay the tribute, wait for it, readily, being brought low. Being what brought verse? low, what verse? What verse? subdued. You have an what this you is have chapter nine, what Shurat is that? Yeah, you have an He's talking about this one. Oh, oh my God. God. So there you have it, it's right there in in verse, your Quran, that's 29, right? Verse 29. Until you are paying the tax and brought low. That is submission. That is submission. I don't want to submit. I'm not going to submit to Sharia law. I'm not a Muslim. I'm a proud Jew. I'm also an American. I believe in freedom of religion. All right? So, guys, what do you have to say? oh my God. So, 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 this is what happens when you look at people like Ben Shapiro and uh, people that like show up on Piers Morgan every other week and want to talk shit about the religion of Islam. If you literally go to the verse before, because obviously the Quran is meant to be read holistically, it says, um, verse 28, which is, which is the verse that's right before. O oh, you who have believed, indeed the polytheists, are Jews polytheists? Oh, so only polytheists, uh, polytheists are unclean. Places. So no way, I'm going to explain. So let them not approach Al-Masjid Al-Haram, Masjid Al-Haram, which is Muslim lands, after this, their final year. And if you fear privation, Allah will enrich you from his bounty if he wills. Indeed, Allah is knowing and wise. And then we get to verse 29, which says, Fight those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day, and who do not consider and who do not consider unlawful what Allah and His Messenger have made unlawful, and who do not adopt the religion of truth from those who were given the Scripture. Fight until they give the jizya willingly, while they are humbled. Now, if you go look at the context of this verse, the the context of the verse is this was during the time of the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was fighting against Quraysh. 
it has nothing to do with the Jews. The Quran is meant to be read. Where the Masjid Haram is? It says it that anyone who Masjid Haram is Muslim land. Again, it says which you said that Muslims have the right to govern. But it's not talking about Israel. Again, let's keep it very simple. I don't want to follow Sharia law. I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Jew. I want to be allowed to live peacefully in my own land, which is in America. Yeah, okay. If you have a as a Jew, you pay taxes. Do you believe Palestinians? What's that? Do you do you believe Palestinians? I hope Palestinians and Jews can get along with each other. My dream, my dream. Be, is if me and him could be friends and like hang out and just be okay with each other and we can have a two-state a two-state solution but you don't just want the West Bank you want Tel Aviv you want Haifa you want Syria you want Jordan you want Iraq it says in your flag from the Nile you want the Red Sea I want Egypt yes you want Egypt no just no 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 into the Nile River no 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 yeah into the not the whole Egypt just the Nile River I support a two-state solution my friend over here does not he supports I talk to him. What do I support? What do I support? You, I asked you if you support the right of the Jewish people to exist in Israel as a Jewish state. He said no. You know why? That's no, not. No, no, no. He did not say he did not say. I said, I said Muslims I, should have a right to live safely and securely in Palestine. It's fine. It's we have no, it on wait. video. You I don't so have to I look said at what you said. that what you I, 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 as a Muslim, not even as a Palestinian, as a Muslim, which is 90% of the Palestinian population, right. mm -hmm. recognize Jewish history inside of Palestine, right. recognize ethnic Jewish history inside of Palestine. But you don't recognize but the right of us to have a nation Exclusive rights. Home. You don't have That's the exclusive right to rule our land. So when we Does Saudi say, Arabia have a right to their own nation state? Yes, you yeah. know why? Because they're from the there. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. Because but they're the from Jew, there. But the so Jewish really people, really people, but the Jewish people don't. So Saudi Arabia has a right to their own nation state as a Muslim state. Yes. But the Jewish people do not. No, country. Because no, no, not no. exclusive. You have Christians wait, and Jews in Arabia. Not exclusive. Saudi Arabia is exclusive. Saudi Arabia treats Christians and Jews with equal rights. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. 14 billion from America. No, they got billions and billions of dollars from the European Where? Union, from Where? UN, Where? from everybody. Show me. Where did it go? Hmm? Where? Well, you can ask those people in Qatar where all that money go. I can tell you where this money go to build. No, I, I, I'm against what Qatar is doing. The UAE, the, they're in the of the like Middle East. But the Middle East is not dropping the bombs. The Muslim countries no, no, I'm referring to. Hold on one second. Let me finish. They are not dropping bombs on Palestinian children, which, by the way, 15,000 of them were murdered by your indigenous well, land. I, I don't, I don't uh, buy your premise that there is 15,000 uh, children. Wow, I said 15,000. And yes, there is, because uh, as you can see, these are pictures that are yeah. real. Look, Biden Rollins. No, 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 but you're telling me that they're not real, though, because I have a lot of your people telling me, oh, no, that's a doll, or oh, no, that didn't happen, when actually you guys are the ones that are using AI, artificial intelligence, created images. Can you, can, can yeah, you let me finish? I feel the pain of Palestinian people. But you people. don't. Yes, yes, I do. You don't. Yes, I do. But you have to make a difference. No, there's no but. Yes, there is a but. There can be a but. There, there cannot be a no, but. There is a but. You have to make a difference between deliberate killing, deliberate rapes, oh, deliberate no, no, no. murders, and This is not deliberate? What is this? You're telling me this is an accident? No, it is an accident. Oh. We have a good day. Okay. You don't want to hear. No, because it's all No, you have your mind set. That's all I needed to hear. Hulu ad, which was so disgusting, oh yeah. which was like, oh, Gaza, it could have been a paradise if they yeah. just right. didn't Can elect Hamas, question? if they didn't elect Hamas. If only there was a part of Palestine that didn't elect Hamas. Oh wait, it's the West Bank. Oh wait, the West Bank where I live. Wait. My family got kicked out. They had to be. They had to be you. refugees. They had to go to Venezuela. Right. It's the only reason why I can speak even a lick of Spanish. It was because they were forced land. to. They, were all they were also. I, I also have family members right. that went to Chile and right. that went to Puerto Rico. And it's so sad because what the, the the whole creation of Israel. They talk about because we were running. We were running. And I agree. The Jews have been running for hundreds of thousands of years, and that is a disgusting thing. And that shouldn't have happened but in an attempt to basically stop themselves from running what they did is they created a whole nother diaspora of people that are also indigenous as to that a land. refugee people don't talk about this but there were about 800,000 Jews that were thrown out of Muslim Arab countries my best friend his parents are Egyptian Jewish they were forcibly expelled from Egypt uh -huh. their home was wait, taken wait, wait. 
in the early, from, uh, from I believe, early 1950s. I have a question. They were forcibly expelled from Egypt. What part their, of Egypt? Their money was not, uh, their, their bank accounts were seized. So okay. there were hundreds of thousands of Jewish refugees from Muslim countries so as well. So two wrongs well. make a right. No. So let, what let happened me, first? Let me just, you guys let me, the I gotta run, but let me end with this. Okay, of course. You always You're run. Palestinian. <laughs> I'm Jewish. Wouldn't it be better for mm -hmm. both of us? Like, we're killing each other. Yeah, right? we were good. It was right? called Palestine. We're, we're killing each right? other. No, we're not killing each other. Can you guys are killing just us. just figure out a way to get along? It's very simple. And, 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 and it's very simple. Lift the block and that that might mean, a wait a minute. Less bomb dropping. Wait, wait, wait. That lives. might mean not getting everything I want, not getting everything you want, but sharing the land and just having... Is two that, countries. Is that, is that, is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Way way happening? And a Jewish country. It's easy for you to and say again, that when you're you not have gonna the get odds on you your want. side. I'm not going to get everything I want, but at least we can have peace. Oh, so Malcolm X, Malcolm X had a saying that said, if the white man takes his hand off of something about, like, if, if the white man stabbed him and they simply, oh, what's it called, took the knife out of their body, they did not do justice because there's still the wound inside of their chest. So when you sit here over, like come over here and you say, we can negotiate, you know, you guys can have half, we can have half. Yeah. I will, I can, I will be willing to debate with someone about, for example, what solutions should be. But there is something that as, especially being on a campus where we're meant to be educated, something that should not be debated is the history. And the thing is, when we look at the history, when you look at the history of what Zionism is, and then you look collectively Zionism at the history. Zionism is Judaism. Okay, I let you finish your point. Zionism is Judaism. I let you finish your point. You said that Judaism can be ethnic? I, 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 no, but I let you You've been doing point. most of the talking, I think. Can I ask you a question? Right, but the so, point, the, wait, let me just finish this point real quick. So, so I say that to say that me as a Palestinian and most Palestinians do not agree with the existence of Israel as a nation state. That's However, we, at the same time, say that Palestine as a state, when it exists, because Jews say that we want a land that we can live freely, we can live in peace and all this stuff, which they deserve. Guess what? That already existed. It's Palestine. Now, this is a point of contention that me and you have been having for the past hour, and I appreciate you having the ability to talk about it. Now, granted, you haven't been able to address a lot of my claims, but at least we had the conversation. So that's what we believe in. Now, I hope that when everybody goes home, it is so important for allies of Palestine um, a lot of professors on CUNY, even on the Palestinian side, will say, oh, you don't have, you, you're not, you should not have a conversation with Zionists, you should not have a conversation, a conversation with even Jews sometimes because they're always out to get you. No, you have a responsibility that if you guys are willing to have the energy to come out and protest, to go home and educate yourself. Palestinians are not against the Jewish right of, right of return. We are not against this ideology that Jews have to be kicked out. No, Blacks, it's the exact opposite. If we live under Sharia Muslims law. will tell you when Umar ibn al-Khattab came, there was no Jews living in Jerusalem because the Christians killed all of them. The Byzantines killed all of them. Umar ibn al-Khattab told the, his Jewish companion that converted to Islam, he said, go back to Saudi Arabia. I want you to get me 80 Jewish families and bring them to Jerusalem. Because why? Because why? Uh -huh. Because Jerusalem is not complete without the Jews. Who said that? An Arab. All right. The same Arabs that only can live in open sewage. Can I, can I reply? So I that's reply? basically what I'm trying to say. Let's get it very simple. I asked him a simple question. And by the way, I appreciate, I appreciate that he stood here with me and had this discussion. And I hope that we can have more of these. I think dialogue is good. I tell my students all the time, I tell my students, get a diversity of ideas. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to him. Get a wide But also have you, closed door you hear, CUNY you hear, campus, you, um, you know, I, CUNY campus events. No, I was not allowed in either today. It was it actually was full. I, I literally was there were Arab students the RSVP that were not I RSVP'd, I could not get in. But anyway, I think I always tell my students, get a diversity of ideas. Don't believe me, don't believe him. Get a wide you diversity of ideas well, from other sources. So let me just let me just finish. I want to just respond to him. In closing, I asked I asked this gentleman, do you support the right of Israel to exist? as a Jewish state, he said no. And he was honest about that, so I appreciate that. But that is that is the problem. You don't, if you do not accept the right of Israel to exist as a Jewish state, well, how can we have peace? If you don't accept the right of my, of, of, of my people to exist freely and safely in my land of Israel, which is what Zionism is, how can you have peace with that? You can't. And I also said Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, 
has a Muslim land, a Muslim country. There are many Muslim countries, and they should be Muslim. But I said, can you please extend to me the same courtesy that the Jewish people should have our own state? And he said no. So I think that's the problem. Um, I hope, this is just a hope and a prayer. I know a lot of us believe in God. I believe in God. You believe in God. Um, I hope that we can figure out how to have peace you because, in God, but you also because in killing each other for years and Gito years. Gito Herzl didn't no, believe in God. Gito Herzl didn't believe in Hashem. I hope we can have peace, and I hope that uh, no, I, have I hope we have more conversations like this. Though, you that, it was good. Question. Quickly, because I got to run. I, I really do got to so, run. Yeah. Why do you subscribe to the, and I agree with a lot of what you said, but why do you subscribe to the idea that just because you're indigenous up to somewhere that you have a right to that land? Like, we're all Americans here. I'm kind of glad this isn't Native American land, to be honest. So so why, why, why is that something oh, that's that... That's a great question. He asked, why? That's a good question. Just because you're indigenous to a land, why do you have... Like, if you lose the war, you lose right, the war, right? right. A lot, so a lot of, a lot of, there, right. So the law of conquest, there have been wars everybody every land has been stolen from someone else if you look in the history of the world right every country is on top of some other country but I think when you are indigenous uh, when you have deeply rooted ties to a land I think you do have more of a so claim like as a Palestinian I would certainly say well, I, don't think I would Native certainly Americans say this gentleman has this more of a claim land, on on um, Palestine than then Robbie uh, that, from Denver that converted to Judaism or, or then the Lenape the Lenape in, uh, Native American from Queens Right, so I think when you have a deeply rooted his family, I'm sure you have deeply rooted connections to what part of what part of Palestine? West, West, Bank. West Bank from the West Bank. So when you have a deeply rooted connection to the West Bank as he does, and as a Jewish person, I have deeply rooted ties to Israel. Yeah, I think you do have. I guess not the only claim on it, but you have more of a claim. Does that make well, sense? Well, the two sides think that. So, like, is it realistic for peace to happen? It's not really realistic. Is it's it? a, it's you know. I guess I'm an optimist. I just wish we could go back to kindergarten and share. You know. So the Palestinians don't really share. realistic. Palestinians but don't believe guys, in I enjoyed this. From um, we believe that Jews, Muslims, and Christians should all live together. Can I, can I, can I ask your name? He believes in a Jewish priority state. That's why his country has the Star right. of David on it, and not the Islamic Crescent or the Cross of Jesus. Can I ask your name? Right. Right. Can, I uh, shake can I shake hands? Yes. This was productive. And, and listen, I hope we do I'm more shaking of this. your hand because I wouldn't have sh shaken your hand because you identified as a Zionist. But I honestly, honest you to God, I do not believe that you are a Zionist okay. because a Zionist, like I said, if you look at just read Theodore Herzl's okay. definition of what it is, a Jewish supremacist state. Let's talk more. Uh, you have my friend's info. I think. Yes, the so alumni. Okay. okay. Yes. We'll see. I gotta run, guys. I really do. Real quick. Real. Quick. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. But guys, thanks for listening. This is good. <laughs> What's up? Will you use my hair? Yeah? You got, you Dude, can you start? answer my question? Today you got your hair done. <laughs> All ready for the interview. Bye, guys. Are you are you posting this somewhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to know, um, how do you how do you defend uh, slaughtering thousands of innocent people? And would you agree that Israel is committing war crimes? I do not support killing innocent people. I would not agree that Israel is committing war crimes. I think war is hell. Hamas unleashed hell on the Palestinian people on October 7th. And if you care about the Palestinian people, you should call on Hamas to immediately surrender. So immediately release all hostages and there would be peace so bombing hospitals bombing schools killing over 100 journalists those aren't war crimes bombing hospitals intentionally is a war crime i do and not believe the idf is intentionally bombing hospitals i also think it's a war crime to currently right now as i'm speaking 130 people who were kidnapped from their from their homes from their beds from their houses from their children kidnapped from their their cribs are sitting in dungeons now hamas dungeons release the hostages if you care about peace if you want there to be peace release the hostages Call on Hamas to immediately and unconditionally surrender, and this can all stop. Well, also, ask Egypt to open the southern border so that well, no, injured children can get into Israel Egypt. controls the border. Israel does not control the Egyptian Egypt border. Egypt controls the food, the water. Not the Egyptian border. Egypt controls the southern border and of Gaza. And the IDF actually killed their hostages. Why won't Israel, why won't Egypt let anyone in to, why won't why, Egypt open the border? Why should Palestinians have to leave their home? It's called a war. When there's a war, people leave. 
no, Ukraine they, when they when, when they, they of course they should be allowed to come war back. War is not war is not bombing hospitals. War is not we, bombing we, schools. I agree. And, innocent and we civilians. should not. And, and I don't believe they're doing that. I believe that in a war, well, innocent when you, people when you get kill killed. Thirty thousand people and injure Who, seventy over seventy thousand. That's not a war. More Germans, that's, that's more genocide. Germans were killed in World War II than Brits or Americans, right? More German citizens were killed in World War II. Does that mean Germany was in the right? Yeah, we bombed them, exactly. And war is hell. And war is hell. And war is hell. War is hell. Uh, so I, I've been to war, and I know I know what it is. When you have, and uh, let me ask you this. When you, when you, when you, you taking pictures me, with women's lingerie and stuff <laughs> and publishing it and flexing like it's funny, let me ask that you shows this. that there's something psychologically about, not right Let me ask right you this. There. In Yemen, 90,000 children have been deliberately starved to death in Yemen. Where were the protests? Where there are were the pro protests? No, yeah. not, like this, to to not like this. Not like this. 90, 90,000 right, right? children were starved to death by the Saudi government. I'm talking to everyone here because you're listening. It's because there's an issue. Right. With were you, you protesting it? Hold on one second. No. Yes, I was. Anyways. Where? Where were you Where protesting? Yes. I constantly educate people that is a form of protest, but as I was saying before, it's because the media is limited so that it works into your favor because this country sends billions of our dollars yearly to them. We also send billions to Egypt and we send billions to Ukraine and we send a lot of money billions. to Taiwan. Yeah, Ukraine, billions Taiwan. Billions a year to Egypt. Absolutely. You know it's not billions. Uh, yes, it is. Last time I recall. Really, really Look it up. Yeah, it's I might have billions. to fact check that. Fact check it. It's sure. billions. We send bill But going back to Egypt, call on Egypt to open up that border. Let children who are injured. Why so they can't return back No, to of course they should be able to return. But look, when Russia, when, make that are when, from when Russia, when Russia, when Russia invaded Ukraine, when Russia invaded Ukraine, right? Poland took in something like two million Ukrainian refugees. Two million Ukrainian how refugees when, are in how Poland. About, how about when but Egypt, went Egypt, to Egypt, and, uh, Egypt they were keeps that murdered? door shut tight. Egypt keeps their border closed. They don't want one Why? Palestinian coming point? in. Point My point is, you're blaming Dallas. Israel for everything, because but Israel's if you care about Palestinian yes, so children, yes, tell is Egypt to open up their issues? border. We're done. Yeah, we're pretty much, I'm just kind of, we had a good conversation with some of the students. Let Egypt open up that southern border. Let some of those injured kids get into Egypt and get so medical why are the kids attention. Or Israel so why are the kids could stop injured? bombing. Yes, exactly. and if and Israel and the bombing would stop, one, if you if they would release the hostages, I think this would all stop. Yeah. Release so those hostages. Why Hamas did not tell Hamas not to about the hostages. It's not about the hostages. No. They're, they're so sitting in dungeons hostages. right now, man. They're they, sitting in dungeons. Israel they is killing them. They, 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 they were kidnapped they out, out of their guys, beds. Right? Yes, they were kidnapped correct. out of their and homes. They're YouTube sitting in dungeons. Today, today, today is day 150. Palestinians are Whoever's killed. watching this, today is day 150. Do you know how many Palestinian hostages are being held in Israel? Little children pulled out of their beds in the middle of the night. Pulled out of their beds. What about the 130 hostages that are being held right now? Right now. Right on October 7th, right? I don't give him See, now you're at offensive. All right, I'm done. You don't, you don't feel bad about 130 hostages being held right now? So call, I feel horrible about that. Call on Hamas, call on Hamas to release the hostages and to surrender. Being treated very well, oh, get at No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. You think they're being treated well by Hamas? I'm done with you. Oh, you're, no, you're not worth my time. You, he's not worth because you're not worth my time. Oh, good man. I guarantee you I make more money. Than you. Professor, but actually, do you have a professor? I was like, I make more money. He's Islamophobic. He goes anti extremist. Can I talk to you about this?